Vancouver Island parents are speaking out tonight about the death of a 16-year-old girl who went missing from a Saanich psychiatric facility. They believe the girl's life could have been saved. The couple's own daughter was admitted for treatment into Ledger House at the Queen Alexandra Centre for Children's Health a week and a half before the girl's death. They call the facility a country club and say their daughter also went missing during her stay but later turned up safe. This is where the body of a 16-year-old girl was found last month. She took her own life after going missing from Ledger House, a nearby youth psychiatric facility at the Queen Alexandra Centre for Children's Health. We've been doing this for 10 years. Now, the parents of another teen who was discharged from Ledger House a week earlier say the girl's death could have been prevented. You can walk down the hallway, walk out the door, and unfortunately, We've expressed our concerns prior to this poor, you know, young lady, and nobody listened. The couple don't want to be identified, but say their 14-year-old daughter suffers from depression and has made suicide threats. She was referred by doctors to Ledger House. You take your kid there, drop them off, hoping that they're going to get some help and they're going to be safe, and I don't feel they are. They say their daughter was allowed to leave whenever she wanted and even went missing and was discovered by her brother online. My son says, like, she's on Facebook. There's no internet at Ledger House. We phoned Ledger House and said, what's up with that? And they said, oh, yeah, she's been missing for a while. We've looked for her. And I says, well, she's somewhere where there's internet. The Vancouver Island Health Authority says teens admitted to Ledger House are not locked down but are deemed to be under close supervision at all times. On December 19th, the girl who was later found dead left the facility at 4.45 in the afternoon. Staff searched the grounds and called police 45 minutes later. Saanich police have been under scrutiny for not sending officers before the girl was found dead 45 minutes after that. This year alone, we're at over 800 missing person calls that we've received. And with every single one of those, we triage them, we assess them. In this case, work was done prior to the police actually being dispatched. Uh, you know, we did our usual fan out to all the CRD police police agencies, we uh, liaised with the uh, BC Transit, but the reality is, speaking to, uh, you know, the hospital, there was no idea where she had gone to. Now Saanich Mayor Frank Leonard is calling for a full review of the case, suggesting there may be a problem with the way police treat missing persons calls. I think it's just appropriate to take a look at uh, and review uh, how we categorize those calls uh, when they come in, uh, be it uh, from, from Ledger House or other institutions in the municipality. The incident is also being investigated by the BC Coroner's Service. Children's Representative Mary Ellen Trapel lafond and VHA has launched an internal review. The parents of the teen who is in the facility at the same time as the girl who was found dead say something needs to be done. I cannot imagine how those parents are feeling and it makes me think that that could have been us really easily. And it still can be us and we will never let our child go back to Ledger.